What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Finally, after a long wait, we have received the Android 14 Beta 3, which brings in a major feature which we all have been excited about. That is the lock screen customization. Yes, finally, we have got the lock screen customization options on the Pixel phones running on stock Android. Apart from that, we did receive some tweaks and some new features, which we'll discuss briefly in the later part of the video. Now, first, let's take a look at this lock screen customization option. To start customizing it, all we need to do is just press and hold on the lock screen you will see this customized lock screen button appear here at the bottom this button briefly comes up for a few seconds and it disappears so make sure you tap on that as quickly as you see that now you will of course have to unlock the phone to start customizing it this is how it works on android 13 on the samsung galaxy phones running on one ui 5.0 or 5.1 we've seen this almost a year ago on the samsung galaxy phones and now we have this on the pixel phones as you can see this is the customization menu for the lock screen we have got plenty of clock options here you can just swipe across to see all these clock options that we have there are some cool looking ones but google could have offered better looking clocks here i would say now here we have got clock color and size let me tap on this as you can see we can change the clock colors here and we can also change the clock size under clock size we have got dynamic and small uh, if you select dynamic clock size changes according to lock screen content if you have a notification displayed on the lock screen the clock will sit on the top in a smaller font and the moment you clear off the notifications the clock becomes bigger so that is the dynamic option then we have got small clock option which is a standard clock we see here then under color we can select whichever color you want and using the slider below we will be able to increase or decrease the color intensity density which is really cool let's go back here we have got wallpaper options and right here we have got the customization options for the shortcuts as well the shortcuts which sit on the lock screen can be customized right from here as you can see we've got left shortcut and right shortcut we can select the shortcut from the bottom here we've got shortcuts like flashlight video calls camera device controls do not disturb mute and qr code scanner at the bottom we also have mode lock screen options when i tap on this you can see all these lock screen options where we can customize the shortcuts enable double line clock option etc you can also notice that the material you theming is also a little different here these toggles look better compared to the previous version now on the top you can see we have got option to customize the home screen as well let me tap on home screen as you can see here we can select all these color options and we can set the wallpapers for home screen and we can also enable themed icons by enabling this toggle and this is when these color combinations on the top can be selected for these themed icons and these themed icons again look much better compared to the previous version of the androids after this we have got app grid option as well when i tap on this you can see we have got all these grid options here and at the top right you can see the reset option just in case if you want to reset whatever customization you have done you can go ahead and tap on reset that is pretty cool this is the brand new lock screen customization option we have got on android 14 the samsung users may not be that excited because uh, you have already seen the lock screen customization on the galaxy phones already on android 13 now apart from this google has brought back this clock shortcut by tapping on this clock right on top of the screen as you can see i can just swipe down the notification panel and tap on this clock to directly go to the clock application which means we have got one icon less on the home screen the next addition is this all new charging animation around uh, this battery percentage as in when you connect the charger you will see around this battery percentage on the top right corner the capsule animation pops up and disappears that looks pretty cool then in the display settings under navigation we get to see this all new button which shows us the navigation animation this is something which may not be that useful but yeah uh, this is there just in case if you need a demo of how the navigation works on your phone you can check this out these are some of the changes and features we have got on android 14 beta 3 the most exciting one is of course the lock screen customization which has finally arrived on the pixel phones let me know what do you think drop a comment and while you do that be sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it useful thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye